Hey, hey guys, what's up? It's your pal Keith. I'm live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got, hands down, the coolest guitar we've ever had in the studio. Ever. And we've had a lot of guitars here. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. You're going to see the rarest of the rare, the wildest guitars I get from all around the world. Some with tremendous histories like this, owned by extremely famous individuals like that. This guitar is the personally owned Dean Custom Prototype for Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. Guys, the significance for this guitar is huge. And I'll tell you why. Dave has had a longer signature series relationship with Dean Guitars than any other brand. The band has had tremendous success while Dave's been with Dean. I mean, they won a Grammy. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. And uh, this is the guitar that started it all. This is the prototype for what was the Jackson King V, the ESP DV8, and then what would become his main guitar for the past 13 years. And that is the Dean VMNT. This was the prototype for that model. That I mean, thousands and thousands of people all around the world have these signature guitars. But this is the one that those guitars are based off of, which is insane. We'll do another video of this side-by-side -side with a production VMNT so you can see the differences. This one's a bit bigger. Uh, it's very cool. There's nothing else like it in the history of this. I mean, this is the one that started it all. It's totally nuts. I'll show you the back. It's actually, at this time, I can see why they changed the name. When they were coming up with this, they called it the DMV. Now, I don't know about you. My uh, British people won't know what the DMV is. But if you're from America, you probably hate the DMV. I, I hear in, in later years it's... Uh, a lot more streamlined depending on what state you're in. But the Department of Motor Vehicles is where everybody goes to get their uh, their driver's license. And it's an absolute nightmare going there. And you can have an appointment. If you're from Florida, where I'm from, you'd have an appointment and you'd show up. And there'd still be like a 100 immigrants waiting in a queue in front of you. And your appointment was completely worthless. You know, so DMV for the name of a guitar how did it go, I guess? And that's what this became a VMNT. This part all in here is super cool and really different. Um, the profile is just insane. And you can imagine wooing a legend like Dave Mustaine to come to your company and build your signature guitar that thousands and thousands of people are going to buy. You're going to put maximum effort into making it world-class and outstanding. And that is exactly what this guitar is. I mean, this baby is mint. It was signed by Dave on the back. And then we took it to him at Wembley Arena in London, where he signed it on the front. So it's double signed. The neck profile is slightly different as well. Really interesting. Man, the, just so, so cool. There's a note in the back here from Backstage Auctions. Return Dean V prototype request of Dave Mustaine. Uh, I know the guy that owns the company. I said, hey man, what's the story behind this? And he said this prototype was actually sent to him on accident and it was supposed to be saved for justice Dave's son so they sent it back 
And I guess, you know, this was the, the most significant of the guitars that were sent to him. That's why they needed it back. And eventually Dave made it available to the general public, which is wild. And that's how I got it. And you can go on Guitar World, Rolling Stone magazine, pretty much anything that any magazine or forum or website that talks about guitars, you can see the story about me buying this along with the rest of Dave's collection that was sold on Reverb.com back in November 2019. Um, I made a video about it. It's got about 60,000 views. Other people made videos about my video. Some of them have over 100,000 views. And the writers for guitar magazines around the world learned about the story and thought it was crazy, thought it was wild. And so they published all these articles and Corey, a writer for Rolling Stone, reached out to Dave Mustaine, did an interview with him and brought up my buy. He said, man, what do you think about this? All these guitars went to this recording studio in England. And Dave said, you know what? I think it's cool. I think it's great that other people are going to be able to play these guitars and have them make music again. So uh, if I ever see the guy, I'd sign up every one of those guitars. Well, guess what? I hear that and I say, yeah, have to do this. You know, my Facebook blew up. I had friends messaging me like, dude, you're in Rolling Stone. Dave says he'll sign all your guitars. This is crazy. So I reached out to the management and we made it happen. January 31st, every one of these guitars, minus one, minus his Gretsch Dobro, because we were using it to record with Bootyard Bandits that day. Um, but every guitar went to Wembley Arena. We were backstage and he signed every single one. And it was great. We hung out for about 40 minutes. We talked about his Jackson time, his ESP time with Dean. He put to bed all the rumors about going to Gibson. He said, nope, I'm with Dean. I'm under contract with them. I'm very happy with them. We're, uh, we are good to go with Dean. So that was really cool. And, uh, yeah, he just told us some, some back history on these various guitars in the collection. And it was just tremendous. We've got video of that. I'll get that edited and uploaded soon. I want to show you this case because I haven't seen another case like this. Put the guitar down. This one's got his name stenciled all across it. Really cool graphic. I mean, I guess you want to impress the guy. You're trying to get him to come to your company and, you know, you're going to make a ton of money selling his guitars. That's got gaffer tape, 2007 prototype. And, you know, this all lines up with when Dave announced leaving ESP in 2006. And I believe... He was at NAM 2007 with Dean for the announcement of the new partnership. Man, so cool. We'll definitely have to do the video of this prototype versus the production run. It's interesting too. There's like some white out, you know, on above the, uh, the writing there. I've noticed as well with Dean, their very best guitars get handwritten, um, like serial numbers. So cool. Big guitar. I mean, it's, this thing's almost up to my, uh, well, it's pretty much up to my base of my chest. Cool. Well, guys... That's, uh, that's about the story with this one. Not another one like it. It is what started the huge partnership with Dean. And for, you know, Dave Mustaine's main signature model, it all began with this. How cool is that? Gives me goosebumps. We will make it available 
back on Reverb.com. We're trying to raise funds for the studio. We took over a radio station. For 40 years, this place has been a radio station. And uh, we've got one, one room over here through the glass. You can kind of see. There's another room across the way there. So we took over this place. It signed a half a decade lease. We had a, a bunch of bands lined up to record. And I think you can see the old Essex radio sign there. And then coronavirus hits and we're forced to close, which is crazy. So yeah, more rooms through there. Through here, don't mind my hippie hair. Haven't been able to get a haircut in months because of these closures. So yeah, guys, my office is up there. We've got another floor above us, YouTube studios and kitchen and bathroom and another floor above us, reception and conference room. We've got, uh, this is going to be a YouTube room. I've just been showing people at the end of all these videos. But, uh, you know, it's tough when you're not allowed to open and, and do business, but you still have to pay rent. You still got to pay bills, keep these lights on. So we are going to put these guitars up on Reverb.com and on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. Make them available to the general public again. And in the meantime, until they do sell, we've uh, we already sold the double neck. That went instantly. Um, you know, once this lockdown's lifted, you're going to be able to come here and play these. Anybody can come and play these. You don't have to pay us to record. If you're in town, uh, just swing on by and... Uh, I'll take them out for you, and you can jam out to your heart's content, all right? I got to run, guys. We're out of time on the video. Stick around. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you soon.